Hello and welcome. In this lesson, we're going to be exploring and playing with Makersuite so that you can get a good feel of what's available here and how you could use it in your own projects. One of the first things that uh, many people like to do on a new application is customize a uh, switch between light mode and dark mode. So you can do that in the gear icon here and you can switch between the two. We're gonna go and create a new prompt by clicking on the plus icon. At the time of this recording, there are three types of prompts available. You can create a simple text prompt, a data prompt, which is also a text prompt where you provide examples, and a chat prompt, which is similar to other products like ChatGPT. Let's go and create a simple text prompt. I'm gonna go and write something here, explain relativity as if I'm five in two sentences. We can run the prompt by clicking run, and that will get you the response. If we hover our mouse over the response, we can delete that response. Now, let's say I'm building an app where I want people to choose what they wanna learn about, and I wanna use this prompt. Instead of relativity, you might wanna make this an input or a parameter. So that's a really nice feature of Maker Suite is that, let's go and delete that word, you can add these inputs. So I'm gonna click insert input, and I've get, I get this input field now. I can double click here and rename it. Let's call this concept. And let's say that now I would like to learn about cells. So you can write cells there and click run and you get your output. And you can add more rows to this um, testing table essentially where you can get results for different words. You can add multiple inputs instead of five. Maybe I would like to be to learn this concept as if I'm 10. So I'm gonna delete that five and add another input and we can rename this to H and have um, 10 here. Execute that to get a different explanation. And also the number of sentences can be a different parameter. So let's do that there as well. And let's call this um, underscore sentences. And I wanna learn this in just one sentence. So there we go. That's how you can use this basic text prompting. And you would want to incorporate this in your code at one point. And Makersuite gives you the code that's already ready to go. If you go up here, get code, it will show you the code uh, for different programming languages. And you get the, the code here that can be copied and pasted into Python. Now you do have to add your own API key, which is something you create here on the portal. And I'll show you how to do that in a second. You might wanna also save your prompt so that you can reuse them later. So we're gonna save this, call this um, explainer, and you can add an optional description to it, save. And there are some more parameters here. We can choose, if we click below, we can choose a model. Currently there's just one, but there might be more by the time you are watching this. You can change the temperature, which makes, makes the AI more or less create, um, creative. So if you bring this to zero, you get answers that are a little bit more robotic and predictable. And if you push it all the way to one, you might get some crazy things. You have this option to add a word for this to stop. So if you add a certain word that you really don't want your AI to be saying, um, and you can add that kind of as a safety, you can add multiple of those words. You can also get multiple outputs. For example, instead of getting one response, maybe I would like to have three responses. And there are also these safety options here where you can approve or reject different types of content for your application. So if we run this again, we should now be getting three different outputs. And also in your code, that's gonna reflect here as well that we're now getting three different out outputs so that sometimes you might give the user a choice. So that's the basic text prompt. In addition to text prompts, we also have data prompts. So I'm gonna go and I'm gonna change here to um, data prompt. And you can see that for data prompts, you also have a main text and then you add, add some examples. So let's zoom out so you can see it. Let's click on one of these examples to make it more clear. I'm gonna click on opposites. So the prompt here is find a word or phrase with opposite meaning. And we are giving the AI multiple different examples. So example thick, the opposite should be thi uh, thin. For sparse, the opposite should be dense. So then we can try wrong and let's see what we get. We get 
we should be getting right, and for fast, we should be getting slow. Now, this technique of giving examples to your AI is called few shot learning. When you don't give any example to the AI, which is what we did before, that's called zero shot learning. Few shot learning can be done with this data prompt by using the, the table, but you can also do it in the text prompt by just writing something like, these are examples of what I want you to say in these different cases. So besides those two, you also have the chatting prompt, which is similar to ChatGPT. Essentially, this is where you write and then you get a response and you can write back and continue that discussion. For example, I can write hello and I'm gonna get a response and I can talk back and that works just like other tools you might be familiar with. Now, what's interesting here is that you can give the chatting agent a general context of how you would like it to behave. I have found that it doesn't follow the instructions as well as it should, but I am sure that's going to improve over time. In addition to that, you can also give it examples of, of um, what it should respond. So let's have a look at some of these examples here. For example, talk to a deep sea driver. Um, we can see that the context is you are a deep sea diver and more information about it. And then it has some examples of if the user says this, this is like the style in which you should respond. And so then if you start talking to, to this um, chat, for example, where do I find fish? Um, it should be able to respond with the style of a diver person. Um, so just like before, for all of these, you always have this code option. You can also save these examples and uh, take it from there. If you go to my library, this is where you will find your own prompts that you've saved. And to get those API keys, we will cover that later in the course, but this is where you get them, get API key. And that, that's really it. And there, then you also have some links to the, doc the documentation and the API and the privacy policy. So with that said, let's have a look at your challenge. And this is what you will be working on next and please do complete the challenge before watching the next video where the solution will be presented the challenge is to write a prompt that gives you an idea for a game and this prompt is going to have a few inputs it's going to receive the gender of the game it's going to receive the time that you have available to develop your game for example one week or one month and the topic if you want your game to be about cats or dogs or something else and this should be a zero shot prompt. So no examples in the prompt. And just to be clear, this is only using Maker Suite. We're not doing any programming just yet. With that said, I'll let you solve the challenge and I will see you then in the next video. Good luck with your challenge.